Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Interview questions. Interviews are meant to test your knowledge and understanding of chemical engineering concepts. Questions asked are mostly related to chemical engineering knowledge required to carry on the company's operational and functional activities because the experts in the interview committee are from the plant itself. The following checklist will help you to prepare well and feel confident to face the interview. Before we go into the questions, let me give you some tips about your preparation for the interview. If you are preparing for the interview in refineries such as IOC, BPCL, MRPL or HPCL, just go to the websites and understand what products they are producing and what operations are involved from chemical engineering point of view. It is applicable to other industries also. Just basic info is sufficient. Do not go into detail. You are not expected to know in detail since you are a fresh entry level engineer. Experienced engineers need to learn more about their operation if you have some experience in that field. Next, the subject to focus on. Distillation, heat transfer, absorption and adsorption, fluid transport equipment that is pumps and compressors, fired heater, cooling tower. For petrochemical industries, the knowledge of chemical reaction engineering is also a must. Starting this week, several videos covering the above mentioned subjects will be published by Spec eLearn channel. Remember, interviews are not to be answered in one word. You need to explain and give a reason for your answer. Mostly, the interview members sitting in the interview listening to your reply will ask further question from your answer itself. So you need to be careful in the explanation. This video focuses on distillation. Several videos in part will be published on distillation. Hence subscribe now so that you do not miss on any of the future videos. For every question, you are given 20 seconds to think about your answer. Then the answer will appear on the screen. Check your answer is correct. Now we will move on to the interview questions in distillation process. Questions cover the distillation process and the equipment used for distillation. Question number one, what is the effect of pressure on distillation? Which condition is preferred? Low pressure? or high pressure. Your time starts now. The time is up. The answer now. At high pressures, the distance between the diagonal line that is y is equal to x and the equilibrium curve becomes shorter and the corresponding boiling temperatures also become higher. Illustrated in this graph is a equilibrium curve at two different pressures. The curve in red color is a equilibrium curve at pressure P1 and the 
curve in green color is a equilibrium curve at pressure P2. Note that P2 is greater than P1. Observe the distance between the equilibrium curve and the diagonal line. The equilibrium line at P2 is closer to the diagonal line. For a given liquid of mole fraction x of mole volatile component, the vapor composition will be larger for pressure P1 than for P2 as shown. The separability becomes less easy at a higher pressure. For the same separation, larger column dimensions are required. That means more number of theoretical stages are required at high pressures. This figure illustrates the effect of pressure on the reflux versus number of theoretical stages. It can be seen from the curve that low pressure leads to lower reflux requirements. Alternatively speaking, for a given reflux ratio, low pressure requires less number of theoretical stages. Question number two. What is the difference between theoretical stage and actual stage? Your time starts now. An equilibrium stage is one in which the two phases, liquid and vapor, were contacted thoroughly and phases leave at equilibrium. Practical operating considerations impose a limitation on how close equilibrium is approached. Therefore, tray efficiency is used to express the deviation from equilibrium in an actual tray. The actual stage represents an actual tray in the column. Question number 3. What is the effect of reflex ratio for a given separation of components of a feed mixture in a distribution column? How does it affect the number of theoretical stages required for separation? Your time is up, the answer. As the reflex ratio R is increased, the slope of the operating line for the rectification section moves away from the equilibrium line towards maximum value of 1 that is x is equal to y. When overhead product D is 0, R becomes infinity and the slope reaches a value of 1. This figure illustrates how the increase or decrease of reflux ratio moves the operating line from the original position or equal to R. It is obvious from this graph that increasing of R moves the operating line closer to the diagonal line. A decrease of R moves the operating line 
of the rectification section closer to the equilibrium curve. As noted in the above figure, when the distillate product rate is zero, the operating line merges with the diagonal line. We call this total reflex condition. What this means is that more and more liquid that is rich in the more volatile components are being recycled back into the column. Under this condition, separation becomes better and the product becomes purer. Thus, fewer trays are needed to achieve the same degree of separation. Minimum trays are required under total reflex condition. On the other hand, as reflex is decreased, the operating line for the rectification system moves toward the equilibrium line. The pinch between operating and equilibrium lines becomes more pronounced and more and more trays are required. The limiting condition occurs at minimum reflux ratio when an infinite number of trays will be required to affect the separation. This occurs at a point where the rectification operating line intersects the equilibrium line. The normal design practice is to strike a balance and operate the column at an optimum reflux ratio. Higher reflux will result in higher boiler and hence higher reboiler duty, that means higher operating cost. Most columns are designed to operate between 1.2 to 1.5 times the minimum reflux ratio because this is approximately the region of minimum operating cost. Question number 4. In a multi component distillation, where does the light non key appears? Your time starts now. The answer, the light non-key in a multi-common distillation appears in the overhead product. The light non-key is lighter than the light key component, hence it goes to the distillate. Question number 5. What is the effect of relative volatility on the distillation process? Your time starts now. The answer, relative volatility significantly impacts the separation of a given feed mixer in terms of the number of trays required to achieve a given degree of separation. Now, the explanation is as follows. Relative volatility alpha of a mixer is expressed by the equation alpha equals to y into 1 minus x divided by x into 1 minus y. 
Well, why is the concentration of the more volatile component in the vapor in equilibrium with the liquid with concentration X? Assume alpha is 1, then according to the above equation, y becomes x. What means is that the vapor leaving the tray has the same concentration as a liquid leaving the tray. Thus the tray will not achieve any separation. This mixer cannot be separated by a simple distillation process. Now let us consider a binary mixer having alpha equals 1.2. So when x is 0.5, this mixer will have equilibrium y equals 2.5454. The vapor is richer in the more volatile component than the liquid by 9%. Hence, separation by distillation is possible for this mixer. As the value of alpha increases, the vapor enrichment increases. What this means is that the number of stages required to effect a given separation decreases as the relative volatility of the liquid increases. Thus, the relative volatility alpha is the main variable influencing the column design. Question number 6. What is an azeotrope? Your time starts now. The answer. Azeotrope is a liquid mixer that produces a vapor having the same composition as that of the liquid. The VLA curve crosses the diagonal line y equals x. Question number 7. What is bubble point and dew point? What is their usefulness in distillation process analysis? Your time starts now. For a given mixer, the bubble point is defined as the temperature at which the first bubble of vapor forms at a given pressure. At this temperature, that is bubble point, vapor and liquid phases are in equilibrium. At bubble point, liquid phase composition is known. For a mixer, the dew point is defined as the temperature at which the first drop of liquid forms at a given pressure. At this temperature, both liquid and vapors are in equilibrium. At dew point, the vapor phase composition is known. Bubble point and dew point are used in the analysis of multi component distillation. Dew point enables you to estimate the distillation column top temperature at the given column pressure. Bubble point enables you to determine the distillation column bottom temperature at a given column pressure. The top and bottom temperatures of the column are required 
to determine the relative volatilities at the top and bottom. Relative volatility of a multi-component system is a function of both temperature and pressure. Question number 8. For which application vacuum distillation is preferred? Your time starts now. Vacuum distillation is usually preferred when the products are thermally sensitive and the components to be separated has close boiling point, hence low relative volatility. Question number 9. What is boil up ratio? Your time starts now. The answer boil up ratio is defined as a ratio of amount of vapor generated in the reboiler per mole of bottom product. Question number 10. What is weeping? What action is needed by the engineer when weeping occurs? Your time starts now. The time is up, the answer now. Weeping is a process in which the liquid is falling through the tray holes. Weeping point is defined as a vapor flow at which the first falling of liquid through the holes becomes noticeable. Weeping affects the separation process and its efficiency. To avoid weeping, take action to increase the vapor flow rate by increasing the liberal load and also the feed rate to the column. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.